So, I got an unsolicited Discord message one morning that actually led to a full-blown malware infection on my system. After getting remote access to my machine, the attacker installed several back doors and exfiltrated credentials using additional tooling. But let's rewind a second. Because before any of this happened, I installed Sysmon on my workstation to log detailed telemetry about all of the happenings that are occurring at the endpoint level in hopes that I'd be able to retrace the full attack chain. And if you haven't used Sysmon before, it's an incredible free utility from Microsoft that gives us way more visibility than the standard Windows event logs. And seriously, this thing is a must have for defenders. For example, let's try to find the initial event related to the download of the malware from Discord. To do that, I'll look for any file create stream hash events with the event ID of 15. Many malware variants drop their executables or configuration settings through browser downloads, and this event is aimed at capturing just that. One of the few events I filtered down to seems to be a match. It looks like we have the malicious executable being downloaded through the Edge browser. Sysmon is able to give us the hash values of that file as well. And a simple virus total lookup tells us that we're definitely dealing with a malicious trojan. However, we didn't get much information about the origin of the infection. And so the next event I found is also related to the malware, but specifically it relates to the file's alternate data stream. And this data stream contains information on the hostname and the full URL in which the file was downloaded from. And based on this URL, we can confirm that the infection started from a Discord download. I was then able to correlate the malware's image name to a network connection event, which conveniently gave us the process ID, as well as the IP address and port number of the attacker's command and control server. Armed with the process ID and focusing on its child processes, I was able to determine that the malware dropped into a command prompt for remote access, ran some enumeration commands like who am I, host name, and system info, created a backdoor user account with the username backdoor and the password of password, and then used the task scheduler utility to install persistence. Before covering up their tracks, the attacker downloaded Mimikatz from GitHub and executed it to attempt to harvest credentials from the system. Now, this was a very basic and concise example, but I hope you can see how useful endpoint event telemetry like Sysmon logs can be during an incident investigation. If you're looking to pick up the skills to become a security analyst, or if you want to get hands-on with a number of powerful blue team tools like Sysmon, be sure to check out the Security Operations 101 course on the TCM Security Academy.